Flight engineer Tracy Caldwell Dyson back on Earth. Caldwell Dyson exhibiting a, a big smile as she's carried to her reclining chair at the landing site. Once again, uh, you're watching uh, the uh, post-landing activities uh, for the uh, Expedition 24 crew at the uh, landing site southeast of Arkalik in uh, north-central Kazakhstan. This uh, coming uh, less than a half an hour after the Soyuz touched down, almost on a bullseye landing, following uh, its descent back to Earth, uh, following undocking from the International Space Station. Soyuz Commander Alexander Skvortsov, uh, looking to be in very good shape. As we watch uh, activities at the landing site, uh, NASA Public Affairs Officer Josh Byerly has landed uh, following his uh, flight uh, from Arkalik uh, to the landing site. And Josh, uh, if you can give us a description of activities at the landing site, uh, we're set for you. Well, good uh, evening to you there in Houston, Rob. We're standing in, I'm probably about 20 feet away from the castle now. They've gotten, as I'm sure you can see on the TV there, they've gotten the commander. Uh, out, he is uh, looking good. Uh, just a few minutes ago, they pulled out Tracy Caldwell, uh, Tracy Caldwell Dyson. Uh, she gave everybody a big thumbs up. Um, she'll be calling her family here uh, very shortly, but uh, both of them look very good. Uh, they're still working on getting out Mikhail Kornienko. Uh, out of all the times that I've done this at this landing site, I've actually never seen one of these Soyuzes. Uh, land the right side up, which this one did, uh, which I'm sure you can see uh, in the video that you're getting. So they're having to pull uh, the crew out of the top of the capsule and sort of put them on this uh, sort of small slide and uh, slide them down to the ground. But uh, as is always the case, the uh, Russians are making very quick work uh, out of this. They've already set up the uh, medical tent, which is probably about 50 yards away from the capsule. Uh, so once they get the entire crew out, they should be moving them over there to that uh, medical tent here uh, very shortly. But uh, everybody's uh, looking uh, very good, even though their uh, return to Earth was delayed by about a day, but uh, everything moving pretty quickly. Josh, uh, the last time uh, we heard from you at a landing site, uh, you were knee-deep in snow. Uh, today the conditions vastly different. Uh, how is it out there? It looks a bit cloudy, but uh, it looks to be very acceptable for a landing today. Yes, I'm very appreciative of the weather cooperating a bit better than it did last time I was out here for Jeff Williams' landing. Uh, the lack of snow is not something you'll hear me complain about. But uh, it, you know, the mo this morning it was probably in the upper 40s, lower 50s. The temperature probably, I would guess, probably mid-50s right now. The breeze has kicked up uh, a little bit. Uh, there's a good kind of wind coming at us. 
uh, but no problem. The clouds are beginning to build a little bit, which I don't know if you can see that on TV or not, but uh, it was clear this morning, but there's a deck uh, blowing in from the west, but uh, what a great cooperative. We're standing out in the middle of uh, farmland, like we always are any time we still use this uh, land. The one thing that is of note is that we're very, very close to the city of Arkling. Our helicopter ride today was probably less than 15 minutes uh, to get out here to the landing site. Um, the city of Arc Lake is known as, you know, to be a mining town, and we flew over uh, quite a bit of that industry as we were heading out here. But uh, the weather's good. Uh, the landing site is really good. It doesn't look like the Soyuz uh, bounce that much. Like it typically does sometimes when it hits the ground. There's really no uh, divot. But uh, the search and recovery forces have already uh, begun the process of uh, getting the parachute wrapped up. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, the medical tent has already been, uh, been set up. It looks like they're pulling out uh, Kornienko as we speak here. And that's right, Josh. Uh, we're watching as uh, Mikhail Kornienko uh, is being uh, helped out of the top uh, of the Soyuz spacecraft. And uh, our video now showing uh, Tracy Caldwell Dyson on a satellite uh, phone hookup as she uh, is being congratulated on her return to Earth uh, after 176 days in space, 174 days aboard the International Space Station. And Mikhail Kornienko uh, completing his first flight into space, clasping his hands and a congratulatory salute as he is being helped down uh, the short uh, work platform ramp uh, to be carried over to his reclining chair. Josh, uh, it looks like uh, this has been a very efficient operation today. It always is. You know, you've been out here several times too, and it uh, each and every time it's very impressive uh, how the Russian team members do this. I mean, by the time we got here, uh, you know, the first helicopters had been on the ground maybe two minutes, and they had already begun the process of extracting the crew. They had the perimeter set up. Uh, as I mentioned, the medical tent had already been set up, and quite a number of the uh, all-terrain vehicles uh, had been out here. So they, they make very, very quick work out of uh, getting a crew uh, out of the Soyuz, getting the Soyuz safe, and they're in the process now of uh, getting all the cargo and all the different uh, medical and research experiments inside uh, moved out. But, you know, as you know, they, 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 they move very quickly out here, which is uh, pretty impressive. Josh, uh, what's the setup now? Uh, if you can give us a rundown of the timeline of events uh, that uh, will lead uh, to the return, I believe, to Karaganda later in the day today. Uh, say again, Rob, I lost you for a few seconds. If, uh, if you can give us a, sort of a timeline of events uh, from this point on uh, that will lead to, to the crew's return to Karaganda. Yeah, what's going to happen is uh, all three crew members will go inside this medical tent here in the next few minutes. That'll probably take less than half an hour to get them uh, checked out. They'll take their vitals. They'll get them out of their uh, launch and entry suits. And then each one of uh, the crew members will go to a specific uh, pre-assigned helicopter and then all of us will take off and fly back to uh, Karaganda, which is about a two-hour to two-and-a-half-hour trip uh, from where we are now. Uh, that is where the helicopters were going to stage out of as of yesterday, but uh, some of the helicopters went down to Jezkazgan, and then some of us came down to Arkalik uh, last night. So once everybody gets back to the uh, airport in Karaganda, there will be a uh, traditional uh, ceremony there where they are welcomed back. And uh, some comments are made by the crew, and uh, the media uh, gets a chance to talk with the crew members about their landing. I'm sure there will be quite a number of questions about uh, yesterday's delayed uh, undocking to get the crew members' perspective on that. And then uh, the two cosmonauts will fly back to uh, Moscow later on tonight, and uh, Tricky Caldwell Dyson will begin the process of heading back to uh, Houston with uh, some of the NASA team members. But um, everything here is just uh, working like clockwork, so it's, uh, it's good news. And we're watching uh, Alexander Skvortsov alternating uh, between bites of an apple and bites of a cucumber. Uh, Kornienko enjoying uh, his uh, cucumber that was handed to him uh, by uh, representatives of the search and recovery forces as uh, the crew enjoys uh, their first uh, minutes back on Earth after almost a half a year in orbit. Hearing uh, Josh Byerly down at the, the landing site, NASA public affairs officer. Any final thoughts uh, there, Josh? Well, I can see that the uh, Kazakhstan team members are pulling up the uh, Kazakhstan flag. Roscosmos is here. You know, it's, it is uh, it's kind of a heartwarming thing where you see how proud uh, all of these uh, people that worked to uh, bring back these crews are. 
uh, each time one of these soil uses land. I mean, they take a lot of pride uh, in the work that they do, not only the Russian Search and Recovery Forces, but the, uh, you know, the Roscosmos team members and obviously the NASA team members as well. So, uh, you know, it'll be good to get the crew uh, out of their suits and back on their way back home. And, uh, of course,